Hey guys, today's video has distressing content. I'm going to be talking about the death penalty, lethal injection, and the murder of a pregnant woman. I'm talking about Lisa Montgomery, who was executed yesterday by lethal injection in the US. Her crime? Lisa had befriended a lady, Bobby Justinet, who was pregnant by eight months. And a week before Christmas in 2004, Lisa strangles Bobby Joe and cuts open her belly and removes her eight-month-old fetus and starts parading her as her own child. Bobby Joe bleeds to death and the police eventually catch up to Lisa. Lisa was the first woman to be executed by capital punishment in 70 years. She had been on the death row since 2007 after her conviction. My question is, is justice really served? Here are my thoughts. Let me explain. Lisa grew up with a mother who trafficked her routinely. She kept moving Lisa and her siblings many times a year from home to home. And her stepdad had repeatedly raped her and arranged for his friends to rape her. They would beat her and urinate on her after raping her. At the time of the murder, Lisa was mentally ill, psychotic and completely out of touch with reality. To that extent, I was thinking about what does a child need in his or her childhood? Because after all, they are the most powerless minority in the world. You know, their daily terror just comes from the fact that they might be invisible to their busy parents, that they might bring shame and disappointment to them. All they want is uh, uh, an unconditional uh, love, uh, a blanket of unconditional love with safety and security. If they don't receive the bare minimum, they start to question everything. Instead of all this, Lisa experienced incest and gang rape. Her experiences started shaping her brain. That's what happens to victims of violent crimes. If they are not treated properly, they develop serious mental health issues. Because of these experiences, they don't develop the sufficient wiring in their brains to feel the empathy and compassion for others. Lisa has been let down by all the people that she should have trusted growing up. Her mother, her father, her step-parents, her family, her school teachers, the police, the society, government. The list goes on and on. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to um, condone what she has done. Of course, she deserves the punishment she received uh, by having to stay behind bars. Um, but, um, and um, Bobby Joe's family, Bobby Joe herself, during the last moments of her life, uh, what she experienced is just unfathomable. Instead of giving her the death penalty when she's psychotic and out of touch and is probably not even willing to take ownership of the crime that she has committed, can we be using the lessons from her life to rehabilitate ourselves um, if we are victims of violent crimes like uh, mental health abuse, physical abuse, psychological abuse? and learn something from it. Thank you.